Hi guys, today we'll look in the scenario in which Armenia and Azerbaijan's war gets even worse. I believe Armenia, Azerbaijan, I mean, made a few advances in like either their or their tiny advance. I know they made a little advance in the Lashin Corridor and north of Arsak in real life. Oh, yeah, that's great. I'm correct, well. There's been a bit of conflict there. Oh, Armenia used to occupy all the way out to here. Yep. They make a... Armenia, seeing this, Continued advance decides well they'll advance into Azerbaijan. And they take back the Lashin Corridor. It's not that bad for Azerbaijan. By Jean, because they're going to continue their push in at Irsac. Which is more. Well, Azerbaijan pushes into the north. To cut off supply lines, well, their goal is to get to that lake. Which I almost successfully do. Armenia makes some successful pushes into the exclave of Armenia, Azerbaijan. Turkey decides they'll put their support behind Azerbaijan. And Russia decides to put their full support behind. them along with but with Russia putting support behind them well these two nations decide to put their support behind them that wasn't supposed to happen And so far, the war continues. Oh, well, this is with Azeri forces pushing up and meeting with their Turkish boundary, and they succeed. And then they cross the border. And look what I did wrong. Yeah, we did a... Well, that was a bit of a... Oof.
Armenia makes a counter offensive. But due to the fact that Azerbaijan is starting to set up dominance, their advances start to fail. Except in the exclave. Or they manage to take a lot of it. But. And they also push here. And then there. They started a final campaign with final pushes. Well, that's as far as they get. Azeri forces accidentally on the border with Armenia, where they're fighting, kill a Russian soldier. Russia asks for reparations. They refuse. And Russia and gang get involved. Which Turkey is quick to say, what? And then they set up a better front with them while they invade Georgia. And, well... Well, Russia's mistake is now they're splitting forces on different fronts. And they push out from there, from South Oasia. Is South Oasia really a nation? No. Armenia pushes up. Well. This is where Russia starts is pushing the northern Azerbaijan. And they make a successful campaign. But they can't set up. Well, were just taken in a fast campaign, a blitzkrieg into northern Turkey is started. Well, what they neither side sees coming is well a successful Azeri push. No one sees it coming, but they push Armenia back all the way to where they wanted to earlier. They push across south, connecting. Now they're connected to Turkey. But Russia does not stop its push towards Baku, which is basically surrounds the city. But Russia fails. And then they push in towards Baku. But this was a trap launched by the Zeris, which nobody expected to happen, but was. Now these troops are surrounded and eventually surrender. And they take back the Lashin Corridor area and all the push there. And they make an encirclement of Armenian forces and they push them back. Russia's forces here are pushed completely back. Their new plan is to push towards Arsac. They almost get there. Azeri forces are playing a game of chess, basically, and they push in. As in chess, you do something, and then they see that, well, her goal is to push Russian forces back. 
They push into Georgia, liberating some Georgian territory, and then they push to here. And well, they push there. They push the Russian forces back to the border. There is some Azeri land, and they hear news that Azeris are being attacked, genocided, so they push in. It is true, so they continue their push up to there where the Azeris live. Which is Azerbaijan. Azeris mostly live in Iran. Iran stays neutral because, well, they have their... And, well, Turkey's successful pushback start, counter-offensive starts. Which is a fast counter-offensive of Russian forces. And they push up the South Oasia and then north and takes Tbilisi, allowing Azeri forces to make a fast campaign. Well, Armenia's in trouble now. Because, well, they were just being held on by Russian forces. And now as Push towards Yerkovishk is started. And it's a success, and they take Yerkovishk. Armenia has two choices surrender or die. Well, they refuse to surrender, not a surprise. Now more Turkish forces and forces from Georgia flood in. And yeah. They have one more goal. They kick Russian forces out of South Oasia. And now out of there. And they decide to kick them out of Abskaz area. A, it's a bad name. B, well, it rightfully belongs to Georgia, but somebody took it. Not going to point the fingers, but... Somebody did take it. Well, well, somebody leaves this bit of land while somewhere else are being obliterated. And that's Chechnya. It was like, yeah, hey. Chechnya takes its independence. Russia leaves, but Russia has one problem. A Zeri treaty is unfair. This is a new Azeri treaty. They take all of our sack back, they push into this towards this lake. No, well, they're like that. Turkey does this. Georgia takes that. Well, they all get their fair share of land. Well, well, they get their lands handed back. Is this lands handed back or land stole? This is what nobody is thinking of. But now the problem is, there's a 
alliance here. And they invite Chechnya, who accepts. And yeah, that does not look like Chechnya to me. But yeah, who doesn't like Chechnya? Chechnya sounds so awesome of a name. Sounds better than Dagestan in South Ossetia and Abkhaz area in Donetsk and Luhansk and some way. Can people start giving good names to countries? Iran stayed neutral. Iran. No one cares. Oh, well, you have Armenia, but now it looks like Parmenia because it was partitioned. And we have Azerbaijan. It looks like thick Azerbaijan. Then we have Georgia. It looks like, well, normal. Then we have Turkey. Yeah. Are you becoming an Ottoman Empire again, Turkey? Yep. And then we have Chechnya. Chesh, Chesh, Chesh. But Grozny, its capital, sounds Grozny. Grozny. And thank you for viewing. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. You need a subscribe because we're trying to get the 50 subscribers. Everyone's global and everyone's awesome and everything's good. So please subscribe. Yeah. Turkish viewers, can you subscribe? I gave you land. And the reason I'm trying to get the 50 subscribers is because I'm making a special at 50 subscribers. My last special was at 30 subscribers. Because 30 is a cool number, if you ask me. And I had a 20 subscriber special. Now I'm working towards my 50 subscriber special. Like, specials are just special. And you need to understand, specials are special. And all special specials are special. And please like and subscribe if you wish to see the special. I hope you enjoyed this video. So go like and subscribe, Wild Mapper out.